also how you start flying is you press this button over here then you hold this button and you'll see the Mavic Mini take off. Hey there everyone, today I'm going to review the DJI Mavic Mini. This is an ultralight, ultra portable drone made by DJI for beginner flyers like myself who has never flown a drone before. Now, before I get started, I want you guys to know that this video is no way sponsored by anyone. So you'd be getting a very honest review from a beginner flyer who has never flown a drone before. And my sole purpose to buy this drone is to create better content for my YouTube channel. I'll start with unboxing this drone and work my way up to flying this drone for the first time outside. And if I make any mistakes, you guys can take notes and avoid those mistakes. Now let's get started with the pricing. As you can see here on DJI's official website, the Mavic Mini Fly More Combo costs $449, $100 more than if you decide to get just the Mavic Mini. You should also get a micro SD card which you need to record videos and shoot photos on your Mavic Mini. And I'll go over why the Mavic Mini Fly More combo would be a better option for beginner flyers. So as you can see here, I've decided to purchase the DJI Fly More combo as it comes with this nice bag here. But if you decide to purchase just the Mavic Mini, you'll be getting one drone, one controller, one battery, and also you'll be getting one micro USB, one set of propellers, one screwdriver, and three micro USB to either lightning, USB-C, or micro USB. But if you were planning to go with my recommendations and purchase the Mavic Mini Fly More combo, you'll be getting all of this. So there's like three sets of propellers, you also get a fast 18 watt charger that you can use to charge your drone very fast or the two-way charging hub and two sets of micro USBs and three of these you also get one set of propeller guards like these and you really really need these uh, when you're flying the drone indoors and this was a big learning lesson for me because I did not use them uh, when I first flew it for a couple of seconds in my house and I ended up crashing the drone a couple of times which is very bad for the drone but that's okay as I have three sets of propellers with the fly more combo as you can see one of the packaging is already opened that's because I had to replace it because the app was asking me to replace the propellers as they were badly damaged replacing the propellers was also fairly easy another reason to get the fly more combo is it comes with this two-way charging hub one battery definitely isn't enough for beginners so fly more combo comes with three batteries that you can use to fly a lot you press this button to check all the battery levels here as you can see they're all fully charged you can connect a USB charger here which you can use to either connect to your phone or the controller here as you need a full charge on the controller to fly the Mavic Mini. I would recommend always fully charging the charging hub with all the three batteries in it and also charging the controller before every flight as a safety precaution. Here's the controller, it's pretty nice, it's pretty small. It is definitely the size of my iPhone X. It's the size of my drone, so it's they're both the same sizes. You can definitely fit them in your pocket, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would say um, use the bag that it comes with. It's a very nice bag. You can carry it around. Everything fits in very nicely, so I wouldn't recommend it carrying it in your pocket. You unfold the controller like this. The controller sticks are here. You gotta screw it into place. There's two of them, so take two of them off and screw it into place like this. They stick in pretty nicely. Here are the antennas, they're quite flexible as you can see. You also get an extra pair of controller sticks 
if they wear out. So another reason to get the fly more combo because you get an extra pair of controller sticks. Also it's quite nice, um, here's the power button here and those are the controller. You use this button to record and this button to take a photo and also this button is used to adjust the camera and that's everything that I needed to cover on this remote. Finally we come to the drone. The drone is pretty small, it comes with this gimbal protector here to protect the camera and the 3 axis gimbal. You get very cinematic shots with this camera even when it's moving around in the air because of the gimbal. So as you can see here the edges are quite scruffed in this propeller that's because I've crashed it a couple of times and how you unfold the drone is you don't start with the rear you unfold the front propellers first and then vertically unfold the rear propellers just like this and now the drone is ready to fly avoid holding the gimbal and it looks like that the drone comes with two sensors here that probably helps it avoid any obstacles when it's landing also this is the most important part in terms of regulations it is 249 grams which means most countries like Canada US you don't need a pilot license or you don't need to register the drone so you can just get the drone and start flying the drone immediately that's about all the things that I wanted to cover on the drone so here's what you need to start flying the drone you need the controller all opened up and you need to see if it's fully charged and then you need to take your drone and stick one of the batteries in here all of the batteries are fully charged so I'll just take one from here and I'll open the back doors here and um, before you start flying remember to always stick in that micro SD card that you get from them to take pictures record videos you can record videos up to 2.7k which is pretty good and gives you very good shots stick it in there you need to use your nails to stick it in there so that it doesn't fall off so if you decide to get just the Mavic Mini you will have to use the USB-C port here to charge your battery inside the drone because uh, it doesn't come with the charging hub here and I'll just open the back door here in order to get the battery inside stick it right there it clicks and shut the door off and the drone is all ready so you also need to download the DJI fly app from the Google Play Store or the Apple Store and stick your phone in there as you can see it sticks in quite nicely it doesn't fall off I'll open up the app here and I'll show you guys the maps here um, so there's altitude limits there's uh, no fly zones that your drone will not take off in so once you open the maps you can see where you're safe to fly the red zone right there you're not safe to fly there at all and also there's the blue zone where you need authorization to start flying your drone and you probably need proper licensing as well so you can also press in albums here you can see all the footage uh, downloaded on your phone and also on your aircraft I'll go ahead and start up the controller right now you gotta press it once and then press it again in order to turn it on and this part is very important before you start flying the drone always always check the UAV forecast app um, I downloaded this from the Apple Store you can probably find it on the Google Play Store as well as you can see here it says not good good to fly today because the gust speeds are going up to 62 kilometers an hour and the wind speed is like 34 kilometers an hour it says not good to fly because the Mavic Mini cannot handle speeds uh, more than 45 kilometers an hour because that's the speed it can go to if I click here on wind profile it, you can see uh, according to height um, the um, wind direction and the wind speed 
so as you go farther and farther up um, the wind speed is gonna keep on increasing and the Mavic Mini can only handle speeds up to 30 kilometers an hour and if the wind speed is more than 45 kilometers an hour you will it will be hard for you to get your drone back to you because the Mavic Mini can only go as fast as 45 kilometers an hour so I would highly recommend you when it's a very windy day fly against the wind so that whenever you want it to return to home it's gonna drift towards you and you're not battling the wind and trying to get it back to you so I'll start flying right now um, on the top here there's a cursor that you can use to control and move the camera and the sticks are used to control the drone obviously and on the top here there's a record video and also a capture photo button so when you're comfortable with the controller I'd say take off and how you take off is press a button over here and you hold it and the drone will take oh. off the home point has been updated please check it on the map so as you heard the home point has been updated and that means what that means is the drone will come back to the exact same place that it took off from so I've increased the height on my drone a little bit and as you can see I've started to get um, error messages on the top here saying strong winds um, get back to the home manually so return to home will not work because of high winds so I'll have to manually get the drone back to me so what I'll do is I'll come back on a different day and fly the drone as high as possible and show you guys what this drone is capable of so I've come back on a less windy day and I wanted to record the video and put it out here in 1080p 60 frames per second so you guys can see how your videos are gonna come out as so as you can see it's quite clear you can see the lettering of my car which is pretty nice and I'll take you farther up so you can see how uh, how far a hundred meter looks like because I am in an altitude zone so I won't be able to fly above 120 meters but still uh, you can see that 120 meters is still a lot of height and if you have made it this far please do like and subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get notified of the part 2 of this video coming out next week which I'll also link up on the top right corner here and there's the investors field over there for those of you who live in Winnipeg there's the Red River and that's as high as the drone can go because uh, I am in an altitude zone so planes fly over this place so I'm not allowed to go more than 120 meters um, but as you can see 120 meters is still very high and you can get very good shots so I have a few more things I wanted to cover on the Mavic Mini, especially on how you fly it, uh, different shots you can take. So remember to hit that bell notification button to be reminded when that video comes out next week and also for my future videos as well. On my next video I'll cover on what not to do when trying to take cinematic shots of your car and crash like this.